Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. If you find any of today's entertainment helpful, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. If you haven't subscribed already, and I love every one of my subscribers, thank you, please hit smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. If you're looking for a free trading platform on which to trade your shares, look at the links in the description below you get a free share for signing up depositing a small amount now on with the show we are talking about a penny stock that can go 5,000 percent now I urge you not to go all in I've had some success with penny stocks in the past that's no guarantee I'll have any success with penny stocks in the future. Do not just blindly follow my advice. You will lose 110% of your money. See how good I am with my maths? Now, you will realise that I'm just some idiot on the internet. I'm not even a good idiot at that. So, penny stocks are highly volatile. The problem with penny stocks is usually... They will. They are set up by companies where the directors just want to pump them and dump them. So they pump them up as soon and sell them to people, and then as soon as they can, they sell their shares and then leave them in the wind. Now. This one, to me, seems different. I've been looking for a good opportunity. I'm expecting the Grubhub takeover deal to be done soon. And I have some shares I want to buy this week. And I will have a small amount left over. And um, I've got shares to buy, my shares to watch. And I will have a little bit left over. And I'm looking for somewhere to put it. I come across this. And I hope you agree, it's worth it. Alpine 4 Technologies, ticker symbol ALPP. Now it has already gone up uh, from two cents a share to six cents a share. So I'm not the only one who knows the bay, but it did hit 24 cents a share at one point. And It has in the past hit seven dollars fifty in the last five years and if we go back in long enough we go fourteen dollars but we're not living in the past we're looking to the future now as eight million dollar market cap is earnings are going to be this month and i think they're going to be whoppers you know why? They're getting lots of contracts, lots of COVID-19 contracts. You probably haven't heard of them, but they provide a lot of tech services, mainly for automobiles, vehicle tracking, fleet management, but also sheet metal. Since they have a lot of subsidiaries. They're a company that buy up and acquire companies. And COVID-19 has provided a great opportunity for that. Now, you will see here, awarded several new COVID-19 isolation room healthcare building projects. All these, and then, on, that was in March, and now on, in April, they awarded several new COVID-19 uh, products. So, they was awarded all, one point, one and a half million dollar contract in March and then the two point if I'm correct two point one nine million dollar contract in April now bear in mind these are recent contracts they could be pulled away at any time but the difference between this penny stock and other penny stocks is that this guy isn't doing a pump and dump. 
and not pushing loads and loads of shares, not diluting the shareholders. They may be looking into, they was looking into doing a reverse, like USO did, which would be bad news for shareholders, because if you don't have the exact amount of shares, you lose out. However, it doesn't look like they're doing that at the moment. It doesn't mean they're not going to do that, so bear that in mind. The good news, and I know what you're thinking, these contracts were the good news. No, they're looking to be listed on a major stock exchange, such as the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. And they're talking with an advisor about doing that, because the exchange they're on at the moment doesn't have the same regulations as the major exchanges and that's why it's a perfect place for pump and dump that's also why you won't get as many uh, people investing in you that's why you won't get a share price of people on New York or NASDAQ the other thing is I can tell you now looking into the back of this it doesn't qualify at the moment now, to qualify, would have had to do, it would have to do certain things. One of them would have had to have been a reverse split, but for some reason they're not doing that now. They have to get their price up, obviously. A reverse split would have done that. But I don't know if they are under the impression they've brought in enough earnings to raise the share price themselves. If they'd done that, they would have to have raised the share price by a thousand percent. No, they could raise it by a hundred percent, but if they did, did that and it dropped a dollar, they'd be kicked back off. Okay, you wouldn't get entry to the exchange when you're just a dollar away from being kicked off now the thing is there's other things you have to comply with as well so as I said I'm not looking to put a massive amount in here I'm looking to put a small amount another thing is this isn't the kind of thing where oh you check it and if your share price doubles or 10x's or 5x's you take it out again this is one you put it in and you do one of two things you leave it there for two years or if it goes up by 100 to a thousand percent then you look into selling. Now, that is what I'll be looking to do with it. What you can do with it, if it goes up 10x, 5x, happy days, you can sell if you want, because I'm not a financial advisor, it's up to you. Me, if it, even if it goes up a thousand percent, now, I will not be selling all of it purely because that shows it's growing, growing, growing. How would you feel if you got in a Tesla at $17 and you went through all that pain in the early stage and you thought, I'm an early adopter in Tesla. I'm better and brighter than everyone else. And then uh, when it hit $170, Or even when it hit three hundred and forty dollars, four hundred dollars, when Elon floated more shares on the market, you got out, and now it's sitting at nine hundred dollars. That's why if it got to hundred x or thousand x, what I'll say to people is, I might cover my investment and then the rest of it leave in there.
and let it grow. That way I don't lose anything. Anyway, it's your money, your choice. I just, as I always say, I'm just providing the information. It's up to you what you do with it. But please do not put all your money in it because it could end up a dead duck. Yeah. I've had some stocks that have all the background that have to be successful and people just either don't know about it not enough people know about it or so they don't go in it or people just don't fancy going into it other side is look what even if people do fancy going into it look what happened with luck in coffee so remember things like this you don't go in completely and I'll see you in the next video and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button I'll see you in the next video goodbye